Hi everyone, it's Jerry. This is a group of five puzzles, and each of them it's white to play, and it's up to you to determine the best continuation. So go ahead, pause the video, see if you can find the best play for white. Okay, the solution to puzzle one is to capture a couple times on the d8 square. And at the end of it, you'll note that the black king is without a flight square, and the queen is still on the back rank. This is, these are two issues that white can now take advantage of because after the capture on a6, the bishop and rook are converging on c8. And with rook to c8 to follow on the next turn, pinning the queen to the king, the queen will be one back in short order. And so I've seen this in many cases from my experience. When you do have the king without a flight square and in a very important piece, the queen in this case, being on that vulnerable back rank, Ideas like this present themselves. Um, you'll note that from the initial position, ideas of capturing on f7 might have been tempting. In many cases, this does turn out to be a nice tactical shot, but here it's faulty, since after queen takes bishop, and let's say queen takes rook, black is not forced to recapture on d8. Recapturing on d8, white would be winning, since the queen would have to block. This would be winning for white, but Black, again, not forced into capturing on this d8 square. Instead, queen takes f2 is available with uh, bishop b7. You get the idea. Black would be winning this position. Moving on to puzzle two. Once again, white to play. Pause the video, see if you can find the best play. Okay, the solution to puzzle two is first bishop c3. Anywhere but king to a4 allows the knight to grab on b3. So let's see what happens after king to a4. It will turn out to be mate in 3. King c4, b2, the only move. Knight b3, and pick your favorite way to promote. Knight c5, that turns out to be mate. This of course is not the best way to put up uh, resistance by black. What's better is to play to b5 or c5. Let's say king b5. Now we just have knight takes pawn, and eventually white will round up these two a pawns, and we'll have to give checkmate with the bishop and knight alone. If you don't know how to do uh, how to give checkmate with the bishop and knight, to the right of this video I've included a link to a video where I explain how to do just that. You have to have uh, YouTube's annotations enabled in order to click on that image to direct you to the video. Okay, moving on to the third puzzle. Once again, white to play. Pause the video, see if you can find the best play for white. Okay, the solution to puzzle three is first knight c1, defending the bishop, allowing this pawn to promote. And now we have bishop check, king f2, another check, king e1, and not bishop takes queen. In your calculations, you might have seen this far and thought you could just take the queen. Well, you could, but the resulting position is now stalemate. No legal moves for the black king. It's important to be patient at this point, not capturing the queen right away, recognizing that that would turn out to be stalemate, and instead first insert this check, allowing king takes bishop, which would be the only move. And now you capture the queen. The king does in this final position have legal moves and once again we have this bishop and knight endgame. Um, one other thing to note is from the initial position trying to immediately stop this pawn's advance is not good either because king takes bishop, the knight can give a check, the king comes to f1 and soon enough the bishop will have to give itself up for the eventual promotion of a queen on g1. Okay moving on to the fourth white to play. Pause the video, see if you can find the best play. Okay, the solution to this one is really a, a nice shot. Rook takes on h6. There's two different ways to capture. Let's look at first king takes rook. King takes rook runs into a mate in three with queen g5, queen h4, and if the knight blocks, that's mate. And if the king tries to run away, the pawn delivers mate. Now the other 
cool finish is what do you do after G takes H? And if you'd like to, pause the video from here, see if you can find the mate in two. And I'm just going to go right into it. The mate in two from here is queen to g8. That still might have been a difficult move to see from this position right here. Knight takes queen is the only move. And now, surprisingly enough, these two bishops deliver checkmate. It seems as though with these two knights and queens so close that one of them would be able to block, but it's simply not the case. The king is without any legal moves, and this is uh, checkmate. So a really cool finish. It's something that I certainly overlooked. I did not solve this puzzle um, when I looked at it. So Moving on to the last one, puzzle five. Once again, white to play. Pause the video, see if you can find the best play. Okay, the solution to this one is first b6. And before I get into, um, go any further into this variation, you'll note that after something like c5, note how black can block everything up with the move b6. These three pawns are very strong and will simply sit and wait for this pawn to make a decision. If it captures on b6, the pawn recaptures. Captures on d6, yet again, this pawn on c7 would recapture. So that would not prove useful for white to play c5. So it's b6, captures, and now c5, creating a lot of tension. If this pawn captures, this pawn will run. For example, d takes c, allows d6, and one of these two pawns will promote, there's no stopping them. Bishop here, you just run to d8. And I'm not sure what else to even recommend. Capture here, you promote like so. So you can't at this point, after c5, you can't capture. So b takes c, b takes c, and now, yet again, you can't capture. This pawn advances, same story. One of these guys will eventually promote. So what is best is bishop a3, and now c5, b takes c, d takes c, and now how do you stop the pawn from promoting? d5 is the only move, giving check, buying the bishop time to now, to now drop back to d6, and which would stop the pawn from advancing. And from here, this is the key move. It's very difficult. We're already five moves in. This sixth move is the key move. You don't capture the pawn. Capturing the pawn allows bishop here, and it is black who's winning. But the key move of king to f5, you have to stop the pawn from moving to c7. Bishop d6, white still pushes. Bishop takes pawn, and this is stalemate. Very cool finish, something that I came nowhere close to solving. Um... I didn't even get as far as seeing this bishop to a3 idea, but very interesting position even getting to this point right here after the check, creating uh, a post on that d6 square and not capturing, but rather king to f5. I thought that that was pretty cool. Again, this one now being a uh, stalemate position. So uh, that's all for this video. As always, um, let me know what you thought in uh, the comments section and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.